Hey guys, this is for Zig I for the Patreon of the month. And I decided why don't we do a conspiracy? I will also send you some other stuff. And yeah, let's go ahead and open up this box for Zig I. Uh, I do know your real name, but I don't think you want me to say it, hence Zig I. Um, anyway, let's open the box and see what we get. Good luck. Uh, there's a $50 Mythic in this box, which is kind of exciting. I like it a lot because the box value, the expected value is very close to what you can buy the box at. The, the box itself, I don't actually like the design of the box itself. It kind of feels like they went out of their way to make a crappier version of the box. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull some stuff. There's show and tell, there's berserk, although those are not uh, super valuable. So I'm only gonna send you the rares and mythics and the valuable cards. Disenchant, Lay of the Land, Deathwind, this used to be uncommon, very good and limited. And the good thing about this is the set over Twin Bolt, Ghostly Prison, that one has some value. Archangel of Paladon, huh. But Ghostly Prison is still a valuable card. Uh, definitely a card that will go up in price again, eventually. Let's move this to the side. But that is a good uncommon. What other good uncommons are in this set? I feel like it's Ghostly Prison or Bust. Foil Ghostly Prison would be very good as well. Vapor Can, we have a foil. We have a Spy Kit. Sagromancer, this card used to be kind of expensive. Zealous Strike, and then a Construct. So I'm also not going to ship the foils. I'll make it up with giving you a better card. Just because shipping is kind of tough and the way I ship it in multiple packages is uh, kind of tough. Fiend, very good for Popper. Ultras Vaporkin, very good card. Evolving Wilds, always good. Visions is a good card. Uh, it did get banned, right? Is that the card? That, no, Good Taxing Probe got banned. Capital Punishment. And the Monarch. So, Visions is very... Oh, there's a black card in this one that's very expensive. It has the mechanism that it costs one less for every player you have. And it's very, very good. So, Visions is pretty good. It did take a major hit from the reprint. So Visions, Ghostly, Prison, those are the two that we want to see. Charm Breaker, Devils, and that is not. So pretty much all the value has come from Uncommon so far. But it's good, we haven't pulled a Mythic yet, so out of a box we can expect two to four Mythics. Two to four Mythics means we will get probably a good one, at least one. Overrun, Burgeoning, this card used to be very expensive. It has since come down in price. I remember before the reprints, it was a easily a $20 card, which is kind of nice. So that's our first good rare, unless one of the other ones were better than I expected. But probably not. Intruder's Alarm. There's another Visions, which is great. Face Reward, I remember a uh, particular person speculating on this card in MTG Finance. Unfortunately, it was reprinted and that happens. So this one is a rare conspiracy, so I will also send it. All right, let's keep cracking packs. So two visions, a burgeoning, and a ghostly prison. I believe ghostly prison is more expensive than visions by quite a bit. We post one of my favorite cards from Invasion back in the day. Oh yeah, I forgot about this card. Oh wow, this is a pretty card. Wow, this is pretty. This is such a pretty card. It's gorgeous, right? And then obviously the uh, Ghost Assassin, which is pretty good. I, I would be amazing to get her in foil because her foil comes as actually a ghost. So far, I would say this has been pretty good packs. Like it's not been amazing, but it's also been pretty, it's a lot better than like when we open other boxes. Hollowed Burial, this used to be kind of expensive. Oh, this is not foil, hired highest. 
Hollowed Burial is not a bad card in EDH when rafts can be five. They're just not amazing. So let's go from this side, but we did get the Ghost Assassin, which is... Are there any bad mythics? I feel like there might be a few bad mythics. But a Ghost Assassin is always going to have value. I like it a lot. It's actually very good. Coordinated Assault. Ooh, I think this one's pricey. Like, is this one pricey? And that's the mythic. I, I'm pretty sure this mythic is pricey. I'm not positive, but I've seen it go up in price occasionally. Overall, I would say pretty good. I mean, we have two more mythics, so we have a level. I mean, the box is pretty much pull level or don't. Okay, slime. That was a bad card. Monstrosity. So we got Kalia, Ghost Assassin, and a Heart of the Wild. What does the card do? Legendary creature, Elf Scout. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, its controller may draw a card of that power is greater than each other. Okay. Add X mana of any combination where X is the greatest power. Wow, that's this thing is generating a lot of mana. I think it's very good. I would be surprised if it was a cheap card. Murder is very cool. Infest. Ooh, we have a spider and a foil prey upon, which I don't believe is valuable. Alright, so I think we've seen most. I mean, we're, we're like not even halfway there, but we've gotten some cards of value. Throne of the High City. You become the monarch. So, only good. Only good. And. This EDH kind of set. Ooh, there's a foil, and it seems to be a foil artifact. Got a snipe, illusion of choice, general. Ah, uh, it's just a foil common art. Mythic, Hymn of the Wild. Uh, the first creature spell you cast each turn costs one less. You can't cast instants or sorcery spells. Conspiracy, wow. So that is a. I, I'm pretty sure that doesn't count as our two to four mythics. Otherwise, that would be really sucky. Like, it would just be kind of ridiculous. I think the conspiracies themselves are just... They kind of look like ghostly prison. Getting a ghostly prison is not bad. Palace Jailer. Oh, 101. So, Hymn of the Wild, if you're into conspiracy, is a very, very good card. Essentially, it's your... It's making everything cheaper even before you begin. I wish we got more ghostly prisons. Rogue Passage... Oh, here, we got Ghostly Prison. Oh, Inquisition is in the set, yeah. Inquisition has gone back up, I feel like, to $10. Someone correct. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong anyway. But we've hit pretty much, uh, we just need label, and then the value of the box is the value of the box. Let's see. Beast Within, that's a good card, right? Lich, okay. Beast Within's War for a few dollars. That card used to be a lot more expensive. Was it, was this the first time they reprinted it or was it a second time? It's not bad. Like, it's a good card. Definitely an EDH play, played card. Overrun. Keeper of the Keys, which is not a... Anytime you see, like, the word key, it means the card is bad. I'm playing Magic Duels and I keep getting that one key in the game. And it's just like, no, I don't want this key. Okay, Lay of the Land, Kill Shot, Kite, Rogue Passage, Dreaded Statutory, Forgotten Ancient. Probably the worst card in the set. Alright, we, we still at least have, I would, I mean, hopefully we didn't hit our two Mythics. We have three Mythics, but I don't think the Conspiracy Mythic counts. That's probably one per box. I don't know why this one is uncommon. Into the Berserk! Oh, and a Weight Advantage. So we got, we hit Berserk. Obviously, it would be nice to get Show and Tell and Leovolt, but Berserk is not a bad pull. So, I mean, four Mythics so far, three non-Conspiracy Mythics. Into the Void. Oh, what, what was our other comment? Okay. Spectral Grasp and Summoner's Bod. So, overall, um, we still have lots of packs to go, I would say. At least 12 packs left. I would say, yeah, 12 packs so we can pull some other good stuff out of here. Death Rain, Wind, Burn Away, Spectral Grass. This dude. 
Genzo Havoc Raid Razor, 2-2 two, two, whenever creatures you control deal common damage to player choose one. Go target creature that player controls, I think it's like getting them to attack you. Exit out the top card of that player's library until end turn you may cast a card. I mean, it's interesting, the 2-2 two, two Goblin for two, so it always has upside. It's come down really fast and hopefully you can play some land I guess, that's what you're trying to do. Hoplite. Guardian, ah, oh, anytime you see a uh, Sphinx, it's probably not that good. It's kind of like anytime you see a dragon, it's just not good, even in the set of all dragons. Diabolic, Stampede, oh, it's kind of slowing down now. Come on, tax. Okay, come on, we need something like epic. Something really nice. Demonic. Ooh. That was what was our other uncommon? That dude. Yeah, these these few packs have been pretty harsh. But I guess we started out okay. We just hopefully we can end. We still have a lot of packs left. Mana Plasm. Face reward number two. And then in another conspiracy. Which is rare. Ooh. Okay, that went. So we have a blue, and that's no good. A blue foil. I don't believe there's any good blue cards in here. It costs five. Horn of Greed used to be kind of pricey. Um, that card was good. Followed Steps. What is this? So, Enchant Creature at the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a token. So it's kind of like mechanized whatever, except not as good. But maybe in EDH people will play it. Oh, like you can chant opponent's creatures too, so that's kind of nice. We have another foil. Crawler, I, I don't know if this card's valuable. And nah. So Horn of Greed is probably our best card for one of the last 12 packs. And we're down to just a few more packs. Twin Boat. Deceiver Extract would have been better. Paladin Vanguard, Borderline Explorer, and a common Valor. Okay, we are down to our last seven packs and it has just been, it's been kind of tough. But I feel good about these seven packs because we have accumulated, okay, Harvester of the Soul. It's like when I'm playing Fire Emblem and I'm trying to like look for a hero, actually, I don't know if your odds change when you pull bad cards, but you really just want to pull the Leovault here. The Leovault would be very good. Hey, back Protector of the Crown and Hold the Perimeter. So Protector of the Crown enters battlefield, you become Monarch. All damage would be dealt to you, would be dealt to Protector of the Crown instead. So that's kind of nice if you're really into the Monarchs and that type of stuff. Spy Kit, Hedron Matrix. Okay, that is uh, not amical. All right, okay. Leovolt, Leovolt. Dismiss, Juniper Ranger, Followed Footsteps, which is the same as we just got, except we got our one foil version of it. We got Inquisition, that's good. Berserk, this is good. I believe that other Mythic is worth some money. Leovolt, oh, we did it. All right, we, we EV'd it. Oh man, I, this is like even better than Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem, I just never get my princesses I need. A five star. If you guys are playing Fire Emblem, let me know like, how do you get more orbs, I guess? Cause like I'm at that stage where Beast Within is good. Oh, I mean, we already made, we did it. Stunt double, we did it. We got the Leovolt. Let's take a look at the Leovolt. Leovolt is seeing play all over the place. He is legacy good and vintage good actually. But regardless, the Leovolt, that's that's all you want to see from this box. That's a $50 Leovolt. Oh, Queen Marcella. Oh man, it's, it's, it's been good. This box has been good to us. Wow, how many Mythics? 
not including. Well, I mean, it's good. This box was amazing. Queen. Well, I mean, we didn't want the queen necessarily, but we definitely want the label. And this box has been fantastic as we finish up with a some type of violence and some type of ploy. All right, let's recap the box really fast. So we did get the one card that we need to get, which is Leovolt. We got a Berserk. I mean, it could have been better if we had Show and Tell. Uh, Show and Tell would have been really good. I'm gonna point out the notable cards as I move this box to the ground. Uh, Queen Marcella is very good. Leovolt is the pricey card. That's the one that you want. Beast Within, I mean, let's see. Like we didn't pull anything, I guess Horn of Greed could be pricey and it used to be pricing strong hoard, hoard, ah, strong hold. I keep talking about hoarding cards. I don't know why I do that. Okay, Inquisition's good, Ghostly's good. I'm pulling cards that I believe are more than $5. This card I believe is pricey. I'm not positive, but it, ooh, this is so pretty. This has been a great box. Vision's good, Burgeoning's good. Visions is good, Ghost, I mean, wow, yeah, this has been a pretty incredible box. So just out of these, I assume the conspiracies are worth no money. Uh, ghost, two gross, ghostly prisons, two visions, so that's good. A Kalia, a Call of, of the Untamed, this is such a pretty card. I mean, wow. I mean, you should, that, once you get it, you'll be able to see it. A Heart of the Wild, so a Kalia, Heart of the Wild, Oh, so we got two foil because we had the un uh, unfollow one. Two foil rares. This has been a good box. An Inquisition, a Horn of Greed, a Berserk. But mainly, I think these are the cards that we really wanted to see. We wanted to see the Leovolt because Leovolt is pretty much half the price of the box. Anyway, let me know um, and congrats, uh, Zigai. And I'm going to obviously make more videos because I have to do the rest of the Patreon stuff. Anyways, bye guys.